Madame Four. In our own inimitable way, I ask you to pause for one minute and to search your hearts and to ask yourselves what your values are. Permit me to be morbid to ask you for half a second to pause and ask yourself if the Almighty were to call you now God forbid what would you say that you have done to humanity just for a minute how would we eulogize you Would you simply say that you are born on the 28th of some month of some year and that you lived and that you died and that the only two certificates you have are the birth and the death? Or that in between those certificates you have changed the lives of others? Dr. PK, I hope you are still in the assembly. I heard you so very eloquently when you said that leadership is about changing and influencing others. How many of you changed? Dr. Katongole, when he had the floor, introduced young men and women and said, these are the young men and women who will take over. I remember in 1978, I read a book written in 1958 by a young Nigerian called Chinua Achebe. And in one of the pages he asks, where are the young men and women, where are the young suckers that will grow when the old bananas die? These are old bananas. They are dying. We saw the young suckers here. Which tells us that leadership is like a relay race. Intergenerational. One generation running with the baton and passing over the baton to the other generation. If only we could emulate the waves in the sea. Just as the new waves come, they renew the old waves. And lo and behold, the ocean remains alive and well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a happy occasion. It is a happy occasion because we have come here to remind ourselves that when all is said and done, perhaps service is the only thing that defines us. Dr. P.K., you said it so very eloquently and very passionately that when the chips are down, we'll ask not how many cars you drove will ask not whether you are wearing designer suits from Giorgio Armani will ask not which perfume you wore from Bulgari will ask whom did you serve and which lives did you change that is what leadership is all about. And that is how I understand Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who when she was asked, what is your claim to greatness? And she said, if I'm great at all, my only claim to greatness is that when I entered into a dark room, I wondered not why it was dark. But I lit a candle that it may contribute to destroying the darkness.